Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm DCSG81 and welcome back for another special video and this time around I'm going to talk about main facts again but it's also about some questions about my most. Okay, before we get started, I would like to thank my audience which is the Goblin Kids who actually have these suggestions which is the idea of this video. So thank you so much guys for all your comments and ideas and even suggestions because some of them is really really interesting and I'll make it into a video like this one. So thank you once again Goblin Kids for your great ideas. And also before we get started, I would like to talk about my previous video which is about how many Mayfax that I have. There is one particular Mayfax that I've forgotten about which I actually left out. And again, thanks to this audience which have a very sharp eyes, he actually noticed that I didn't include it in my countdown which is this figure here. And of course, it's not the Tony Stark I actually put on the maniple head. It's about this body is from the Harry Hart from the Kingsman's movie. Yep, I actually bought this just for the body for this Tony Stark and it fits perfectly fine as you can see. So it actually means that I have about 30 Mayfax. Yeah, exactly 30. Yep, so it is very sharp eyes of you to notice that. So thank you very much, Yulia. Okay, so with those out of the way, we'll start with these videos. So what is my most okay so i believe most of you guys have some questions about my preference so i'd like to start with my most favorite mayfax and i find it kind of hard to just choose one so i actually chosen two which is this Heath ledger joker and of course those of you should know that this doesn't come as in one package itself you actually have to buy the full clothed joker as well as this guy here because the other parts like the heads and both of this arm comes with this guy here. So you have to buy two joker to make into this one. And I think that this is sort of like the ultimate jokers of Heath Ledger's that <laughs> so far for a 112 skill, I think this is really, really nice. This is my favorite. And my next favorite is of course this homecoming tech suit spider-man as you can see it looks just beautiful wow it's just marvelous over there yep this is a very nice spider-man very poseable very flexible but there is one very bad thing is it is also very fragile okay so just be very gentle with it when you're posing him because the joints are really really small because of his small size here but it can really pose very well like you can see right over here and the next one is my most unfavorable Mayfax. I don't want to say my most hated because I don't hate it but it seems like unfavorable which is this Infinity War Iron Spider. So for those of you who has been watching my video you should have known that I actually broke the tentacle joints right on the screen when I was playing with it. So yeah until now you can see that I didn't pose him with the tentacle joints even though I managed to get a replacement from Ami Ami but <laughs> it's just not a very good idea for me to put the tentacle claws with him because it is so fragile. I, I'm afraid that any time when I fall him, it will break again. So it is my unfavorable ones. And the next one in the list is my most surprising buy, which is in a good way because um, some figures I don't intend to buy at the beginning. But once I see more pictures and I buy it, wow, I mean, I'm surprised that it is that good. Okay, so I have two again in my list, which is this Infinity War Tor. Yes, I don't have any intentions to buy him because I already have the SHV Quartz one. But once I see more pictures, I just tell myself that I'll give it a shot. And wow, this blew my mind. It's really, really that good. The next one is this the Dark Knight Returns Batman. Yes, I have no intentions to buy him at all until I get him on my hand and I think, wow, this is just a very, very good figure. This is a very surprising buy for me. And coming up next is my most disappointing buy, yep, which is something that I intend to buy and I bought it and it ended up pretty bad. And it is only one which is chapter 2. John Wick which is pretty bad because uh, the, the hands are coming out 
very very easily the arms and the the you know the entire figure just doesn't seem that good except for the suited body i mean if you intend to get this body just for other figures i do think that it's nice but it's just too expensive for our figures to you know keep having the arms falling out and the head sculpt is um just okay so yeah i just feel a little bit disappointing with him and the next one in the list is what comes from me personally which is my most underrated figure which is the cyborg okay so i really find that this is a very underrated figure because it is really really nice if you have a chance to hold it on your hand it does have some weight there and you can see the details are amazing you can really see wow it's so so good i really hope that the mayfax will make some terminator figures because they can really get all the mechanical details so good that wow it just feels very very nice i think this is a really underrated figures for me and of course with the most underrated i uh, do have my most overrated figure the mandalorian yes i do think that this is very very overrated everyone has been saying that this is you know a must have or so good yes i do think that it is a very good figure for those of us who doesn't have any mandalorian figure but it turns out to be um it's not that it's bad it's good i don't get me wrong it's good just that i don't i don't find him to be so good you know you know like everyone says this is the best mandalorian i just find it yeah it's just okay i mean for those of you like me who doesn't have any mandalorian figure i think this is a good one but it just doesn't fit the the, the throne of you know the best mandalorian so i do find him a little bit overrated and the next question is what is my most looking forward figures to be released by mayfax which means that it has been announced for pre-order we are just waiting for it in my case it will be the cyborg superman yes i'm really looking forward for that superman because it's really looking very very badass wow it's, i just can't wait to get it in my hand and the last question is what is my most wish for figures that is yet to be made by mayfax but i i just hope that they will make it uh in my case will be i wish the mayfax will complete the um spider-man from the into my spider Wars, you know they have made mouse they have made peter they have made gwen so it only left with penny parker which recently the uh, sentinel toys have made them yeah so penny parker will be next i hope and also the spider-man noir yeah i do hope they will complete these five people in the team so yes this is two of my most wish and i do remember i have one more oh yeah for the marvel it will be uh, Thanos or hawk yeah i, I want to see how Mayfax made uh, big figures uh, like Thanos or Hulk. Yeah, I just, I just hope they will make these two. Yeah, because uh, we, we, we do know that the SH3 Gods one is kind of short in a way. So I, I hope that Mayfax will get the scale right and uh, I do want to see how they are going to make these two. And about a week ago, I posted a poll in my community in YouTube and I do ask you guys, do you know which one is my first Mayfax? And I do have the poll result right over here. There's about 637 votes. Thank you so much for all your votes, guys. So <laughs> you guys actually goes for the Ben Affleck Batman, which with 63% of you guys thinks that's my first Mayfax. The second one is Joker, Bang Robert with 22%, followed by Bane 7% and Dead Shot 6% and lastly is Cyborg with 3%. Okay, so I'm going to review the answer right now. And unfortunately, <laughs> most of you guys are wrong. It's not the bad flag, okay? It is this guy here, the Will Smith Dead Shot. Yes, this is my first mayfax okay so yep i do think a long time before i actually bought this guy because uh during that time when they released this guy uh there's a lot of bad uh reports about mayfax especially with the broken joints you know the the color is not painted well and the joint gate loose a lot of bad reviews on mayfax so this is the guy that uh, i think a long long time and i finally decided to pull the trigger because the one from the SH figure doesn't really seems to satisfy me as compared to this guy so I actually did some comparisons research on my own and I think that yeah I think this is the one that I want 
yeah and then i pull the trigger and it is a pretty good one fortunately yep so this guy here is my first mayfax so right now i'd love to hear from you what's your most um mayfax like what's your most favorite what's your most uh, unfavorable what is your most uh, overrated what is your most underrated and those kind of questions do leave me your answer down in the comment sections below okay so that's all for this video i do hope you find this entertaining do give me a thumbs up if you do and of course i hope you will subscribe to my channel as i have new video up almost every alternate day and i'll catch you again in my next video as always stay safe take care and thank you for watching